Hey everyone, in this video, I want to show you how to integrate Lemon Squeezy license keys inside of your Electron apps using React. Let's get started. So the first step you're going to need to take is to create a Lemon Squeezy account. And once you create your account, you can get started and have a, head over to the dashboard. And so here we have a store and you can have multiple products. Um, one thing you're gonna need to do is click test mode down here. And once that's done, we can head over to products and create a product. So here, go plus new product. Uh, let's call it YouTube test. And as we're gonna be making a license key, it's gonna be a single payment. You can choose your price, um, standard digital goods, and then later on you can upload some media. This will populate uh, your storefront. And then generate license keys, issue each customer a unique license key after purchase. I'm gonna click yes. Um, and then I'm gonna click unlimited. So that once you have a key, uh, you can just use the software um, all the time. And display the product. I'm just gonna click no because I don't, this is just a test. And there we go. You can customize some more stuff, email receipts, etc. Okay, uh, I'm gonna publish that. Okay, there we go. So then if you click here and preview it, uh, you'll be sent to the like purchase page. Uh, so keep this open because we're gonna be uh, just test purch purchasing some license keys in a minute. Um, but that should be that. Let's head over to some code. Okay, let's get started with some code. So this is my template I've created, which is an Electron app, which comes uh, complete with React, Tailwind Synthesis, Daisy UI components, and IPC messages already set up. If you have a different setup, just make sure you have IPC messages set up. So the first thing I'm gonna do is head into main.ts uh, under the Electron folder and use an electron store, import it, and then call electron store init renderer. This is so that we can use the electron store and store files to the user's uh, computer. Okay, so after that, we're going to write our main uh, IPC handler code. Uh, if you're using the template, this should be already filled out. Um, but what we're gonna be doing is just creating two methods that can store the license key and get the license key. So let's write those out. So here I'm gonna call the method handle set license key. It's gonna take the key uh, as argument here and we're gonna create a store and we're just gonna do some logging. We're gonna call store.set license key and key. Uh, you can change this variable. It's up to you what you wanna call it. I'm gonna call it license key. And let's just catch any errors. And that's it to set the license key, super simple. Uh, get license key is also pretty simple. We're gonna return a string or undefined. If we can't find it, we're going to get the store and we're gonna return store.get license key. There we go. So we're gonna use IPC main on set license key so that we can call set license key. And I'm gonna use IPC main dot handle uh, get license key so that we can await the returned value of the license key and get it. So that's our IPC handler setup. We can now start going to the rack code and writing some components. So in my main.txx, I've got my router, I've got my routes, and so my first route is gonna be the license key entry, and then my second route is gonna be the app. So the first route we're gonna uh, fall on is going to be the license key entry. License key entry, uh, will allow us to input our license key and we can activate it. Uh, we're gonna later on do a provider which will check if the license key has already been uh, activated and we can skip that part if it has. Uh, but for now, um, we just need an input field and start writing out how we're gonna validate our license key. So the main parts of my License key entry component are the input field with a ref, license key ref, uh, displaying an error message if there is one, and a button that calls handle activate license key 
uh, when you activate your license. So let's go ahead into that method. Um, it just takes a mouse event and I'm going to prevent default. So let's start validating our license key. So if license key ref current, I'm going to grab the value of the input field. I'm just going to remove some white space. If there is an actual value, uh, if there is an actual value, sorry, uh, or if it's <clears throat> if it's empty, I'm going to set the error message and return. Otherwise, I'm going to pass on the string response to my provider, which we're going to write in a minute. And if it returns an error, obviously I'm just going to set the error message. Otherwise, I'm going to navigate to the app route. And let's just wrap that in a catch. And there we go. So I've got a few other things to fill out. So we're going to be using navigate. So I'm just going to uncomment use navigate. And license key is my license key provider. We're just going to write in a minute. And then some imports. Okay, so the next thing to do is write our provider. Okay, so inside our provider code, um, let's start creating it. So I'm gonna create a context and export use license key so that anywhere in the app I can use license key and start calling the activate and validate methods of um, my provider to check that the license key is actually valid. And let's create some props. So I'm just going to have some children here. And then I'm also going to create a interface um, called API message, which is just going to allow me to give a bit more details on uh, what's happening with the validation of the license key. And then I'm just going to create license key provider value. Uh, so this is returning uh, the methods. And then we're actually going to create our license key provider. So before going forward, I'm just going to fix these errors. I'm going to save that and also quickly wrap uh, my routes inside the license key provider before I forget. And Okay, let's just leave that for the minute. And then in my entry, I should be able to import it now. So no more errors here. Okay, let's head back into the provider code. So inside my license key provider, I'm going to pass some values. Uh, so here, what we are gonna return and what's gonna be accessible from the provider is the check if license key is activated method, as well as the handle activate license key method. So I'm gonna um, create those inside a, an object and return license key context provider and the children so that our children elements are rendered and let's just remove that we don't really need to return the license key value um, so here it's just complaining but um, we fill out the rest of the things now so let's just pass children into the license key provider and then fill out these two methods. So let's call, let's start with handle activate license key. So handle activate license key is an async method. We're going to pass it our license key and we're going to return an API message. So just this little interface I made up here. If license key is empty, please enter a valid key. Uh, pretty, pretty simple one. Otherwise, we're going to call fetch and we're going to post and then it's going to return some JSON. And so what we're going to do is pass the license key that we were sent as well as an instance name. Uh, so instance name uh, can be whatever you want it to be. Um, I'm going to be using best to do ever. That was in my previous app. Uh, I'm going to rename it to test in a minute. Um, but that's up to you. And then we're going to check what Lemon Squeezy uh, responded to us. But before that, um, 
I'm just using Vite uh, environment var var variables. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, so in the repo, it's in .env .local. And so here I'm just using uh, these URLs. Could be useful if you have a different setup, uh, but it's API lemon squeezy, v1 licenses, uh, activate and validate, and then you can use a product instance name uh, that you would put here. But then we're gonna check the response. I'm gonna convert it to JSON. And then if it contains an error, I'm gonna set the license key to empty. Um, so this is our IPC handler method, not a use state. And then I'm gonna return error true, success false, and then whatever lemon squeezy sent in the response as an error message. Otherwise I'm gonna quickly just log the response and set the license key. Um, to the return value of lemon squeezy, uh, or you could use the one passed, I guess. Um, but if the response is activated, which means the users, uh, yeah, already activated uh, this license key, this is a success as well because it means we can use this method later on to check um, if it's already been used or not. Uh, so let's just. Um, manage that situation and then we're just going to wrap it in a catch uh, something went wrong error.message maybe with the fetch a wrong URL or something and there we go so that's handle um, activate license key and so here I'm going to import my set license key method from IPC messages so here as you can see we have a type error obviously it doesn't know what lemon API response is uh, so here I'm going to go into the SRC, create a folder, types, and call it lemon squeezy dot ts, uh, should be dot d dot ts. And so I'm going to paste in uh, some of the stuff I found in the response. Um, this is available from the documentation, but feel free to pause the video and just uh, copy it over. Um, but yeah, that should um, fix that error for the types. So we've got handle activate license key. We're going to now write check if license key is activated. This is going to be the method we call um, when the provider launches. Okay, so check if license key is activated. It's going to be a callback as we're going to be use this, using this in the use effect. And we're going to call get license key, which is our APC, IPC handler method. If it's uh, null, just return an error, no license key found. So that means we don't have a license key currently stored on the user's uh, system. Otherwise, we have a license key. So if we already have a license key, we want to validate that. So I'm going to call the validate URL of lemon squeezy. I'm going to call post, set the headers as application JSON, and body just stringify the license key. On that response, I'm going to convert it to JSON and set loading false. If the response has an error, uh, the key may, may not be uh, validate, validated anymore as you can deactivate them uh, manually. Uh, that means that there's an error. Otherwise, if it's valid and the key is not inactive, I'm going to set it to my uh, session storage, return success. Otherwise, it's an error. Um, and the license key may have been deactivated. You might have deactivated it via the store. And I'll show you how to do that in a second. And just catch the error. So last thing to do is just write a use effect and check if the license key is there and if it's valid uh, when you boot up. So here I'm just going to write a 
callback, check, and it's going to call, check if license key is activated, and then just check our response. So if there's a response, um, I guess you could just stay on the same page. Uh, it's going to be stuck on the entry component. Otherwise, you can navigate elsewhere to a login page, to your app, um, completely up to you. And then I'm just going to call it. So I've got a few little errors. I'm just going to clean those up. OK, so other than the includes, I just needed to add inside of check if license keys activated. I just forgot to add a default return. Um, so that's that. Let's um, So let's launch the app and see what's happening. OK, so it's still um, popping up. Let's uh, grab a uh, license key. So I'm going to grab uh, some of the test card numbers and then head over to my product page. So on my product page, I'm just going to fill this out and grab a license key quickly. OK, so I just got um, my license key. And here we go, I can click it and copy the license key. So heading into my Electron app, I'm just going to open up the console. And let's see if it works. Oh, so it did. Uh, license key went straight into my app. Um, and so uh, that's success basically. If I relaunch it, so it didn't uh, go straight to the app screen. Let me check out why. Okay, so this is the problem I think. I didn't navigate to my app. So there we go. So yeah, if I relaunch it, the license key is in the store and the app uh, goes straight to the app page. Uh, so to stop that flickering, you can obviously use a uh, loading component whilst that's all going on. Um, other things you can do is head over to your store and you can click on licenses. So here you can see uh, the different products. Here uh, it's YouTube test and this is the one I just got. and what you can do is deactivate it. So I can deactivate it and then what's going to happen um, is that I got logged out. So you wouldn't get logged out straight away. You would have to relaunch the app um, to get logged out. So here we go. And as you can see, the app isn't going to the uh, main screen anymore. License key is no longer valid or has been deactivated. Uh, so that's pretty cool. If you wanted to, you could check on every route if the license key is still active, but I think that's a bit overkill. So I'm just going to leave it uh, on startup. And that's it. If you follow these steps, you should have a Electron app um, and license key handling. I will upload the finished code in a different branch on the repo. So if you really want a quick way to get started with this, you can just copy that. I hope this video helped you out in getting license keys inside of your Electron apps. If it did, be sure to let me know in the comment section or leaving a like on the video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.